Hey guys, it's your girl Georgia. Welcome back to Georgia's Lifestyle. If you are new, a special welcome to you. If you're one of my regular subscribers, you know I'm happy to be talking to you as usual. At the end of this video, if you like what you heard, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave your questions in the comment section. Yes, and don't forget to like, share, and comment. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what teaching is like in the UAE right now i'm going to be talking about teaching online and hybrid teaching and of course i'll drop in a few other um valid or vital information that i think i can pass on to you so stick around so as you know school has resumed and we're now in week five of teaching i know some of you have been asking what's the mode of teaching um going on now in the uae well uh some schools have opened for full-time face-to-face however parents still now do have the option of choosing online learning for their kids and so it means that their teachers uh, like myself who are doing what we call hybrid teaching it means that um, while I have the kids in front of me face to face I have kids online at the same time so that is what we refer to as hybrid teaching so in some schools here in the UAE you know all the kids are out for face-to-face -face learning while in some schools they're offering what we call hybrid all right so what does this mean for a returning teacher or a new teacher it means that since you're you might have to do hybrid teaching it means that you have to be quite aware knowledgeable of using um, the online platforms one that which is used mostly to teach um, for the hybrid teaching is Microsoft Teams. So I hope that you have, if you are still considering coming to the UAE, I hope you have been familiarizing yourself with how to, you, to use Microsoft Teams alongside other learning apps. Um, there are thousands of learning apps being used, but I know of frequent and mostly used one is Microsoft Teams. So what that means is that whilst you have kids in front of you you are also on microsoft teams teaching the kids who are at home yes yeah, so you still have to provide all the resources for yes so you still have to prepare all the resources um for the kids in front of you face to face and the kids who are also at home as a new teacher in the uae if you are a new teacher in the uae i know some of you so far um you think it's overwhelming um it's very difficult um i know for some of you but guys um please be mindful that you are in a new country and probably you are doing some things that you you um you weren't accustomed to doing you didn't learn those things before but what i can tell you is that you are going to be supported but you just have to be proactive and to know that um this is a new culture and um of course you probably have been teaching for years but you are in a different culture a different system let me be honest with you it's not going to be a bed of rose you're going to feel like um you're a newly qualified teacher like you don't know even know what you are doing but as with anything you do there are going to be challenges everything is going to seem new but it is a learning process and i can tell you that um after two three four months you are going to have a better understanding uh, you know a know-how of what you are doing and it is going to become easier right remember at the end of the day some of you um have resigned um your job in your home country you're in a new country so guess what you didn't come here for a vacation no you came here to work for a purpose so whilst things might seem challenging um it was challenging for me when i first came here and i'm still here i'm on my fifth year yes so um i didn't come here for a vacation i, I came to work but of course um 
um, working here has allowed me to go out and enjoy myself when the time is appropriate right so um, if you are here now and you are new it will get better you know just try to um, as I always say ask don't be afraid to ask questions let them be tired of you but just don't be afraid to ask questions so that you can um, know what you're doing and after some months it will get easier and you'll be able to go out and see what the UAE has to offer but just tell yourself now that um, you're in a new environment and um, it's a learning process again uh, you're going to be learning um, new culture new, new 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 ways of doing things and please please be mindful that um, some of the things that you could have um, done in your home country in your classroom it's a different culture different things are acceptable so you have to um, be knowledgeable of what you need to do and again I can't say it's enough ask questions and um, if you have to to modify some of the things that you learned from back home um, just readjust and work with the flow yeah let me also quickly um, talk about um, teacher benefits yes uh, some of you have been asking um, this frequent question what benefits do I get as a teacher in the UAE please be mindful that the benefits are different based on um, different schools the benefits are not the same in all the schools the benefits that are the same that everybody gets is um, you either get housing or you get housing allowance your school provides your airfare and your visa yes you get medical insurance so those are the same rights across the board when it comes to um, school fees for your kids or airfare then schools offer different um, salary packages some schools you might get free tuition for your child and if you get free tuition then you don't get um flight allowance some schools you get flight allowance for you and your spouse and kids but you don't get um tuition for the kids in some schools you get full tuition for the kids some schools um give you a percentage as a staff you um you have kids uh, you get a percentage right but not all schools offer the same um benefits there are some benefits that are standard and again those include um getting you here your visa your 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 um your flight money and so on those are standard so whenever you apply to a school you just have to see what they offer um when you are applying also make sure to read the job that is being advertised uh, does it say this offer is for family does it say it's for single persons only why do they offer positions for some um some vacancies single persons only it's because of the type of accommodation that is facilitated that is given it means that it will only accommodate um a single person or or um or a family so you have to um make sure you are aware of that again some of you ask about salary um i that's a question i can't answer again schools offer different salary packages it depends on your years of experience and your qualification all right um you have to look at the jobs being advertised go ahead guys don't be afraid to research google all the information is there all the information is there don't be afraid to research and see what um, when you see a job being advertised look at the salary package okay so not all school schools don't give the same salary package they decide on their salary package all right guys so don't be afraid to do your research to find out all of that information do I have to speak Arabic before I can get a teaching job in the UAE no um, all the core subjects for example math English science UAE social studies and um, the core subjects science those are taught in English so you don't need to be able to speak Arabic to get a job in the UAE how much money do you need to take with you when uh, moving to the UAE so of course you will already know what your salary is like you will already know the benefits that you are going to be getting so if it is that you are going to a school um, that provides or a school that only gives you the allowance for your apartment it means that you're going to have to be buying furniture so they will give you an amount of money to to find your place to rent or to purchase your furniture 
that is fine. In terms of spending money, how much spending money will you need? If it is that you didn't get your documents attested in your home country, if you did to get UAE attestation before you came, then you're going to have to, you're going to need money for attesting your documents when you get here. There are some um, money to buy food and so on. It depends on your lifestyle. All right, but please consider that if you didn't attest your documents, if you didn't get UAE attestation first in your home country, then it means that when you get here, you're going to have to pay to attest those documents. You're going to need internet. Yes, you're going to need internet. So that is about 400, um, about 400 dirhams per month. So when you come, you are going to need um, internet. Uh, but basically, if you... Um, I would put it at 2,000 to 3,000 uh, dirhams should be able to keep you for the month until you sort out your documents. You might need more money. You might need more than 3,000 dirhams to keep you until you get the first salary. If it is that your spouse is here with you and your school doesn't provide you benefits for your spouse so let's say your um, you take along your spouse with you but your school doesn't provide um, medical or your school doesn't provide visa for your spouse then you're gonna need money to look about that all right so so let's say you are uh, you took your spouse along with you and your spouse came here on a on a tourist or visitor's visa and they're planning to stay it means that you're going to need money to sponsor their visa and to get their medical insurance and so on all right so those, those are some things you need to consider all right so i won't make this a long video but as usual if you have any comments you can leave them in the comment um, section if you want to know how to apply to get a teaching job here i have loads of videos there please um, check the description boxes. I have lots of recommendation, re references, um, websites, I should say, in my description box. In the videos, there are, there are um, websites and HR emails that you can apply to. Check the description box. Watch the videos I have uploaded. Loads of information um, is there. But don't forget to leave your questions um, in the comment section if you do. Don't forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. Thank you so much for watching another video, guys. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Much love and God bless you.